I think head wraps are an important accessory because there are so many uses for them. Sometimes it's because I want to look more sleek and classic. Sometimes it's because I don't like my hair that day. Or sometimes it's just because I need something really quick. Having something that's so versatile, it really gives you the freedom to not have to think so much about something. I'm Nina Stella and The Wrap Life is my business. When I started the company, I had no idea that what I was doing was being an entrepreneur. I was sort of an artist, just sort of going with my gut and all of the feelings of wanting to create something. I was in a space in my life where I wanted to be more expressive in how I showed up in the world. And so I started wearing head wraps and I wanted more colorful prints and designs. I was trying to shop online and I couldn't find any websites that sold head wraps that were ready to ship and I could just receive them at my home. So I thought, I think other women might want this. And so I got the idea to start the company and we launched nine months later. Initially, the wrap life started out 100% um, direct to the customer. We opened a retail store in 2019. So we'd been in business probably six years at the time. The retail store was an incredible learning experience, but I more so prefer direct to consumer just because I like the freedom in living where I want to live. I want my employees to also have the freedom to live and work where they want to live. I learned what it takes to run a company by asking a lot of questions. Um, I've worked with some really great consultants who were able to guide me and sort of fill those gaps in the information that I lacked. I've also read a lot of books. You listen to podcasts, you listen to other founder stories. And it's really inspiring to hear sort of some of the same challenges that they navigated so you understand it's not just some random thing happening to you, so you understand it's part of the process. And as that's happening, you feel fortified and more confident in being a business owner. Even though there's so much you don't know, you can't possibly know everything, but you just sort of take what you know and do the best you can with that. Really, you just sort of start asking people questions. And then when you get started, the challenges are about how do I scale? How do I grow? How do I hire people? What do I ask in an interview? Paying taxes, sales taxes, all of those things just sort of come up. But I think how I navigated all of that is just, again, talking to other business owners, other founders, listening to my intuition, and just learning as much as I can about all of the things that were sort of questionable. So it's like it frees up your mind. I can still look great and give my attention to other things in my life that are more important at the moment. If I can be transparent, I'll say that sometimes I wear a head wrap because I don't like my hair texture that day. And I think that if we can be more honest about the times that we don't feel so good about our head, hair texture, I think that the movement will have done its work, right? So it's not so much about covering it up or hiding it, but if you do want to, you can absolutely do that and that's okay. What keeps me going honestly has been, and I've been thinking about this, I have this drive I'm not sure where it comes from, but I'm incredibly grateful for it. I sort of fix myself on an idea of something and I sort of take off going after that thing. I also understand that sometimes that has been very exhausting <laughs> for myself and people who work for me. But I think that if we can figure out how to balance the drive and the desire to make something better, while also learning how to take a step back, survey, see everything that's happening, and just sort of let it flow and ease into it. I think if I were to give advice to an upcoming entrepreneur, I would say, as you are starting, try to balance learning how other people have done it, but also doing a gut check with yourself and saying, does this feel right for me? Just try to be as mindful 
and listen to yourself as much as possible and figure out how to be true to yourself and really do work that you are proud of innately.